Good morning, Year 2, and welcome to our fraction session for today. I'm going to ask you to start off by finding yourself two equal square pieces of paper. They need to be the same size, just like mine are on my screen. I'd like you just to compare them, just to make sure that they are the same size. Okay. You might want to think about which other word you can use for the same in maths. Hopefully you're thinking about the word equal. Okay, now when you've got your two square pieces of paper, I need you to divide them into four equal parts each four equal parts. You can do this by folding them or you could do it by drawing on them. But what's important is that you have four equal parts on each piece of paper. So they should look like this. Now, next job is to think about eating these cakes. So, You eat two slices and another friend eats three slices of theirs. Hmm. Better just make sure I know what these parts are called. One part of this cake is called one part out of four equal parts or one quarter. So if I eat two slices, and another friend eats three slices. I wonder how many or how much they have eaten. Who has eaten the most? How do you know? How much of the cake have you eaten? And how much is left? Well, let's have a look. I ate two slices. So I ate just going to draw around what I ate. Uh, let's see. I ate two slices. One, two. That's how much I ate. I wonder if you know how I could write down how much I ate. I ate one quarter and one, one quarter. Or I could say I ate two quarters. Now my friend ate three slices. So I wonder how much they ate. Let's figure that out. One, two, three slices. Lucky them. So I wonder if I could write down how much they ate. Well, we know these are in quarters because we have divided them into four equal parts. So this person ate one quarter and one quarter and one quarter. Or we could say she ate three quarters. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go back to our questions. Who has eaten the most? I think we can see on our picture who has eaten the most. And I think we can see in our fractions that I've written down who has eaten the most. How do we know? How much of the cake have you eaten and how much is left? Okay, so I'd like you to look at the denominators in all of these fractions I've written today. Quarter, 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 quarters, 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 quarters. Every single denominator is four. That's because the cakes that I am using today are split into four equal parts. The numerators are changing though. So two quarters, I have my numerator two. And over here I have three quarters, numerator three. I can tell that two quarters is bigger than three quarters because both cakes are split into four equal parts. I have eaten two of my four equal parts and this person has eaten three of their four equal parts. Okay, so today you're learning to recognise, find, name and write 
half and quarter. Okay. Here is your in focus task today. And we would like you to share what Lulu and Elliot have done, because this is what you and your maybe your teddy bear or maybe your mum or someone who is with you have done so far. OK, I wonder what you can tell me about it. Well, it's probably something like I've shared over here. My journaling would look a bit like this part if it was me doing it in class and yours might look something like this. Talking about how much you ate and maybe sharing it and showing it on a picture as well. So let's move on. OK, I want us to arrange the numbers in order. Start with the greatest. So let's look at our three pictures. All of these are in thirds. Three equal parts make up one whole. So what is the greatest? Well, this one is the biggest because it is the whole circle. So I would start and say one is the greatest. One, greatest. Let's have a look. Now, I can definitely see that this is the smallest, one third. I only have one part out of three parts shaded. So that is my smallest. I could write that at my other end. One third is the smallest. And that must mean that two thirds is in the middle. So the greatest is one whole, and then two thirds, and then one third. Okay. As we can see, the numerator is changing. This is one whole, but I could also write that that is three thirds. That is actually the same as one whole, but equal to one whole there. So my numerator is going to change. It starts off as three thirds, then it goes to two thirds, then it goes to one third. Three, two, one. And look, greatest to smallest. Three, two, one. Okay, what fractions are represented here? What is the numerator? What is the denominator? Can you arrange these in order? Well, I'm just going to check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. These are in four equal parts. So I know that my denominator, I'm just going to write denominator, is four. We are using quarters here. Now the numerator comes as the number on top of the fraction. So I can do that by counting how many shaded parts there are. So this fraction here has one, two, three parts out of four. So this is three quarters. My next one only has one part shaded. So my numerator is one out of four equal parts, one quarter. And finally, I have two parts shaded, two out of four equal parts. So what is the smallest? Well, I can tell by our picture or I can tell by looking at our numerator. One quarter is the smallest. And that also is going to go down here. I can see that I have smallest. And let's just see if I can copy that. There we are, one quarter is the smallest. Now what's the greatest? I'll look back up here. It's easy to see from my picture that this is our largest fraction. And I can look at my numerator and see that three is my largest numerator. So I'm going to put that in as my greatest. And that must mean that two quarters is my middle. One quarter, smallest. Two quarters, three quarters, greatest. Let's move on. 
we need to arrange the fractions in order, starting with the smallest. So this is just what we've done uh, on the previous page. OK, um, I'm actually not going to go through that one. I would like you to be able to have a think. So pause the video and have a look at question one uh, and then we'll see if we can get that right. OK, so our smallest fraction here is one third. And our next fraction would be two thirds. And our final fraction, we could say it is one whole or we could say it is three thirds. Number two. One half here and one half here. We've got a line going underneath as well. Hmm. Fill in with this sign or this sign. Now, for those of you that cannot remember what these signs mean, I like to remember them like a crocodile mouth. And a crocodile, as a hungry, greedy crocodile, always likes to eat the biggest thing. So if this is their open mouth, let's just put some spiky teeth in here, then they like to eat the biggest thing, okay? The greatest thing. So the greatest would come on this side. Or if our crocodile was pointing this way, then the greatest would come on this side here. So let's have a little look. Zero, half, one, okay. So zero is, oh, I'm going to put in my, what I can see here, one half and one whole over here. Zero, half, one whole or two halves. Now's where I'm going to get my crocodile mouths out. So one half is greater than zero, it's bigger than zero. So I need to make sure that I say that. Remember our crocodile likes to eat the larger number. So half is the larger, the greater is greater than zero. Half is hmm, something than one whole. Well, half is smaller than a whole. So my crocodile now is trying to eat the one whole. Half is greater than zero. So my crocodile is eating the half. And half is smaller than one. So my crocodile is eating the one. Okay, let's move on. Here is your worksheet today, or your worksheets today. Uh, it's worksheet number seven, comparing and ordering fractions. So colour the parts to show each fraction. Fill in the blanks. I need to shade in one quarter on here, and I need to shade in three quarters on here. Then I've got some sentences to fill in. So once you've shaded in your parts, then you need to say this fraction is greater than this fraction. And you could do that by looking at your numerator, your top number in your fraction, or you could do that by looking at your pictures and helping you to work out which one is which. This is a similar question about uh, some circle fractions. And moving on, we want to arrange fractions in order, starting with the smallest. Always important to read those uh, instructions. So which one is the smallest? You're going to write that in here and then getting larger and getting to the greatest. We have some more ordering down here. These ones don't come with a picture. So my advice is to look at the numerator, that top number, because we can see the denominator is all the same. So I would look at my numerator on top to figure out the smallest. We've got some more ordering going on down the page, uh, but these time, this time it says to start with the greatest. And again, uh, I'm looking at my numerator to help me work these out. Okay, good luck everybody. I'll speak to you soon.